Hello, my friends. This is your new best friend, Pong Lizardo. I know it's been a while, but today we are going to do this audio comparison test between the Behringer XM8500 Ultra Voice attached to a Focusrite Scarlett Solo versus this Behringer XM8500 Ultra Voice attached to a Zoom H5. We are doing this audio test in the new country that I moved into. This is why it took me a while to make a new video. And like before, we are doing this audio comparison test inside my bedroom that has no audio treatment. And again, I'm not lucky with where my um, bedroom is. And this bedroom, like before, is beside a busy and noisy street. So you might hear cars and motorcycles passing by. For the exact parameters of this test, please check the, the blah blah, <laughs> the description of the video below. Let me do that again. I know I've said this like 152 million times already, but for those who are new to this channel, I don't give you my positive and glowing opinion or any opinion at all regarding the microphones that I am testing. And that is because if I give you my opinion regarding what is going on in this video, it colors your judgment and it affects your decision-making process. So what I do is I attach my equipment, <laughs> my, my microphone to my audio recorder and I do my blah, blah. And I let you... <clears throat> And I let you decide what is going on or what you are, if what you are hearing is good or not. So this channel requires a little bit of thinking and a little bit of processing. Now, sorry, I have the sniffles. New country, you know. Um, we are doing this audio comparison test because people ask me, what the, this this favorite microphone of ours would sound like attached to a Focusrite Scarlett Solo and attached to a Zoom H5. What I'm doing here is I am going to shift between this microphone, the, the one with the silver XLR cap. This one is attached to the Focusrite Scarlett Solo and this one, the one with the black XLR cap is attached to the Zoom H5. So as I'm doing my blah blah, I'm shifting from this microphone to that microphone for you to see how it sounds like. You hear that? There is just there is a motorcycle that that blah blah. <laughs> Both of these microphones are recording at around negative 12 decibels. So there shouldn't be one that is louder or or more silent than the other. For the Focusrite Scarlett Solo, the gain knob is at the 3 o'clock position. And for the Zoom H5, it's around, uh, not around, it is at the 6th position of the knob. I don't know if you are hearing any difference between the Behringer XM8500 Ultra Voice attached to the Focusrite Scarlett Solo and the Behringer XM8500 Ultra Voice attached to the Zoom H5 because in my headphones, I'm not hearing any difference. This is the Focusrite Scarlett Solo and this is the Zoom H5. Once again, this is the Behringer XM8500 attached to the Focusrite Scarlett Solo and this is the Behringer XM8500 Ultra Voice attached to the Zoom H5. I don't know if you heard <laughs> any difference. Anyway, this video has been long enough. Like this video, don't give it a thumbs down because I'm trying to grow the channel and you know, just go away if you don't like this video. And remember to subscribe. Subscribe because I am trying to grow this freaking channel and share the video with your friends so I get more views. Also, I am in a new country, so I need your help. If you like any of the equipment that we just talk ab talked about in this video, please buy it through my affiliate link down in the description of this video below. Once again, until next time, this is your new best friend, Pong Lizardo. Over and out!